of the soul of Moira Heard. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to my darcies. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, Almighty God, always go before us and follow after, so that we who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your help both now and in the life to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, have a care for justice, act with integrity, for soon my salvation will come and my integrity will manifest. Blessed is the man who does this and the son of the man, and the son of man who clings to it, observing the Sabbath, not profaning it, and keeping his hand from every evil deed. Let no foreigner who has attached himself to the Lord say, the Lord will surely exclude me from this people. Foreigners who have attached themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love his name and be his servants, all who observe the Sabbath not profaning it and cling to it and cling to my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain. I will make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their holocaust and the sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house, my house will be called a house of prayer for all the peoples. It is the Lord, it is the Lord God who speaks, who gathers the outcasts of Israel. There are others I will gather besides those already gathered. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your, so will your grace be known upon earth, and all nations learn your serving help. Let, let the, the people peoples praise, praise you, O God. God. Let, Let all, all the peoples, peoples praise, praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness, you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let, Let the, the peoples, peoples praise, praise you, O God. Let, Let all, all the peoples, peoples praise you. 
the earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth river him. Let, Let the, the people praise, praise you, O God. God. Let, Let all the people praise you. Let us see, O oh Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent messengers to John, and he gave his testimony to the truth. Not that I depend on human testimony. No, it is for your salvation that I speak of this. John was a lamp, a light, and shining, and for a time you were content to enjoy the light that he gave. But my testimony is greater than John's. The works my Father has given me to carry out these same works of mine testify that the Father has sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. If we reflect for a moment on the words of our Lord in the Gospel this morning, the season of Advent changes tomorrow on the 17th of December in that there is very much from tomorrow the focusing on the coming birth of Christ. Whereas earlier in Advent, John the Baptist, whom we hear Jesus speaking about in the Gospel this morning, John the Baptist has been very much the uh, chief figure, one might say, after our Lord himself, of course. John the Herald, John the one who comes to proclaim and to go before the Lord, baptizing and yet pointing not to himself, but to Christ. And Jesus, in the Gospel this morning, says to the Jews, you sent messengers to John, and John gave his testimony. He bore witness to the truth. But our Lord is greater than what is human. John was a lamp a light and shining. And for a time, Jesus says to them, you were content to enjoy John's light. But his testimony, the testimony, the witness of Jesus, is stronger, is greater, infinitely so, in fact. And the works, that is, the miracles particularly, that Jesus, the Son of God, is given by the Father to work, these works of Jesus, they bear witness that he is sent by the Father. And so it's with that in mind that we can, from tomorrow in Advent, focus on the coming of Christ. Because now we are clear who the Messiah is, who he will be, what he has come to do. So in these remaining days of Advent, the last week or so, let us redouble, strengthen our efforts with prayer, being at Mass, going to confession if we haven't already been during Advent, so that we may be able to welcome Christ our Saviour in a true and worthy manner. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
Lord God, we ask you to us. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We await a Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with his glorified body.
Let us pray. Replenish by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Christ be thou my Savior.